Hi, welcome to Large Gaming. I'm your host, Blue Average Gamer. It is late. I just wanted to show you this uh, project I'm working on right now. So sorry if I'm kind of tired. I went out and I saw Civil War today. Great movie, fantastic. Spider-Man definitely did steal the show. Um, as you can see, I have some videos. Oops, on this side. <laughs> Videos over on this side for you to check out. One is the below average update. I keep on pointing the wrong side. Is the below average update that you should definitely check out. That is about my Civil War predictions. What I think about the movie before uh, seeing it. Uh, below that is uh, one of my Hello Miners videos. Um, so yeah, go ahead and watch those. I have a whole playlist. So go ahead and check those out too. I um, wanted to show you something I've been working on here for an upcoming project. Um, this is my mask. It's uh, a lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, <clears throat> made it, I want to say from scratch, but I don't know if I can say that because the base here is from a different mask. That's where the teeth, um, pretty much everything that was on here was the structure of the mask and the teeth. I spray painted the whole thing black. Um, so the color came from somewhere else. And let me, let me just basically run you by what happened here. I got this mask. It had a different face on it. I tore that face off because I just wanted to keep the structure here the jaw and the face which are if you want to look they're actually separate here they're combined this is nothing anymore they're combined right there on that one screw but um yeah so i had that tore off the face i have a modeling clay so i actually got the clay and i rebuilt the brow up here because like i said it was just no definition nothing rebuilt the brow um this nose guard here so it look a little bit more skullish a little bit more less human and uh, these cheekbones here on either side. This one actually has a little divot in it that I put. Give it some more uh, personality. I rebuilt some of the gums down here as well. Yeah, I did that. Um, then I spray painted it black, put some red on the teeth here. Originally I did them white, and then I did them red. So it was, it's was gone through a couple different changes. It had a Velcro strap here that was uh, very toy or kiddish. I took that off and put this leather uh, belt, which actually Makes it just look a little bit more realistic, as if someone had made this whole thing at home. Um, inside here, if you want to look, there's a lot of stuff going on. I didn't feel the need to make that look pretty, since you're not going to see the inside for the project. There's a voice modulator in here from an old toy that I had that I tore out. And the wire actually comes up in here, up across the belt. So that no matter how you plug it in, ah, I keep on moving all the way. It's always going to be the back. So as you can see here, it actually goes through to... oops the buckle and then it comes down so no matter how you wear this it's going to come out the back and you can just loop it around right here I did some wiring in the jaw um, it had a grid that went across the front that made it so when it opened it moved um, but I, I didn't like that because it, it took up the front space so I took that completely off and I got to this here if you look there's actually a material inside that allows it to open and close and that's all just screwed into place I put two because I, I liked the idea that maybe it looks a little bit more like muscle when it opens and I can put this on here just to show you kind of how that works so this goes on here it's strapped in if I wanted to I could turn on the voice modulator I don't think I'm gonna do that though because it does muffle a little bit so you put that on as tight as it can go and then if you just over exaggerate some of your um, talking motion. I should put this a little bit closer. If you uh, over exaggerate some of your talking, you can uh, move the jaw up and down. I wanted to keep the big eye holes I thought about it, and I could have made them a little bit smaller, um, but I really liked being able to see in because the eyes just get so sunken that um, it helps to be able to see the emotion of the character underneath. Now, if you have a hood or something, you can hide this wire, or you can put it in your shirt, and it'll come out and stick right here. So, you can do that. Um, like I said, everyone's kind of asleep, so I don't want to keep that going too long, and I'm going to take this off, just because I feel like it's uh, a little bit more difficult to hear me when I have it on. But it'll open pretty wide, if you want to see here. I'm thinking about putting a, uh, oh, I'm thinking about putting a black like mesh in the mouth. I was checking it out, but it, I would need to get some more of the, uh, where is it? I actually might have some still lying around, more of the elastic material and put that inside. Cause I tried doing that with a, uh, a different fabric and it just does not look right. So I'd have to get something that also stretches and then put that all the way across 
on both, which I don't want to do. My next project is, um, I have these goggles here. As you can see, I've already put tape over to cover the actual goggles themselves, the, the glass. That way when I spray paint it tomorrow, I'm going to make this whole thing. I got these as a prop, but I'm going to spray paint them completely black. Do some work on those to just make them look a little bit more, um, a little different. Um, they look a little uh, steampunk right now. I want to make them look a little bit more futuristic, but at the same time, made at home. Um, yeah, I might replace this band with a green band, just because this character's color is green. The lenses actually are green inside. They're mirrored, which is interesting. You can still see out of them, but they're mirrored. Um, and then, yeah, this is green. I might replace this with some green as well. So if you want to stay updated or you like special effects and things like that, yeah. Like I said, this, I've never made special effects stuff before. This someone just asked me. They know that I'm really craft, like into crafts and stuff. They said, "Hey, do you want to make something for me?" And I said, "Sure, I'll make it for your project." So I made the mask with the opening and closing jaw. I thought that was a really cool mechanism. And uh, I'm making the goggles next. I don't know what I'm gonna have those do. I was thinking about making them light up, but that's gonna be really small, intricate lights going inside. So I don't know if I want to do that or not. Um, I, I would love to actually do that. It's just um, if I can. Like I said, I have these lights here that are really powerful LEDs. They actually are supposed to go in a car. So um, they're big industrial, really powerful. I might make something. I need to make gauntlets for the character that actually light up. It's an electric based character. So I need to make gauntlets that actually light up to do some interesting stuff there. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys that, um, what's going on there. Figured I'd put some, that way, figured I'd put some videos advertising down here. Uh, I got it right that time. Down here you can actually see the server that I play on for the uh, Minecraft video over here. Um, so yeah, if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and do that. I probably can put some links over here too so that you guys can click those and see what's going on with that. But if you want to stay connected with this stuff, um, comment, like, and subscribe. That way you can see some more stuff that I'm building. Like I said, this thing's pretty cool. This thing will, uh, this mask, if you put your finger in there, that'll mess you up because it's, it's wired to close automatically. See, it's not, it doesn't even want to stay open. But yeah, and I have the voice modifier here. I might do some work with that as well. Just make it a little bit louder, because right now it's not overpowering the actual actor's voice. So yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. If you're interested, let me know, and I can give you some more instruction on what's going on with that project. So thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Bye.